Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, October 9th at 8 p.m., Linda Waters joins the Hopkinton Coffee Break hosts to share how she helps moms get back into the workforce and to discuss her business, Beads for a Cause. I started helping with her with her resume, and she had been the president of the, uh, of the, 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 the what do you call it, PTO. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different people call it different things. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, yeah. um, and I said to her, why isn't this on your resume? If you mm -hmm. can manage a bunch of volunteer women, right. you can manage anybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got <laughs> IBM, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she said I didn't think it mattered. At 10.30 p.m., the homecoming football game versus Holliston will air on HCAM TV. On Saturday, October 10th at 12 p.m., the volleyball game versus Holliston will air. At 1.35 p.m., it's football versus Westwood. Then at 4 p.m., it's girls soccer versus Westwood. And at 5.30 p.m., the 2015 Hopkinton High School pep rally will air. On Monday, October 12th at 9.30 p.m., poet Sander Zuloff discusses how poetry can open up new possibilities on poetic lines. One of my eighth grade students in Patterson is now a, a doctor named Hector Castillo who w ran for governor two times in New, in New Jersey. Um, remarkable, a remarkable story out of you know, economic deprivation to rise to uh, that level. On Tuesday, October 13th at 6.30 p.m., Marjorie Turner-Holman shares tips on when and where to find fall colors in New England. On Wednesday, October 14th at 6.30 p.m., it's the Dig Pink Volleyball match against Ashland, live on HCAM Ed. And live on HCAM TV at 7 p.m., the CVS hearing at the Board of Appeals will continue. On Thursday, October 15th at 7.30 p.m., the school committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Friday, October 16th at 9.30 p.m., James Paulhus and Doris Hamburger discuss differences between corporate and community banks on business matters. The uh, larger institutions tend to be organized by function and um, being able to lead a market like Central Massachusetts, which, which was my role when I left, uh, was very difficult because the leaders in the market didn't report directly to me. If you would like to know more about all of the programs coming up on our channels, visit hcam.tv slash newsupdates where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter and also for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching.